Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move a game object in Unity. So let's jump into it. In the Unity editor, I have prepared a simple scene in which I have a game object and ground and two platforms i have also made a player script in which we are going to add the moving functionality heading to visual studio you can see that i have code here it's a jumping system i have made on a previous video if you want to check that out i'll put the video link at the top right of the screen so starting here i'm going to make two balls one of them is called moving right and we will initialize this as fault duplicating this using Control D or Command D if you are on the Mac. And here I'm going to serialize a field. It's a float called move speed. I did this because we need to edit this in the editor. I'm going to add another variable called sprite renderer. It's sprite renderer. Heading back to the start method, I'm going to say sprite renderer is equal to get component sprite renderer so i'm accessing the sprite render component of this object in the void update i'm going to check for input of the user using a very handy method called get access i'm going to check for the default axis horizontal i'm going to say if or horizontal i forgot an n if this is bigger than zero so basically this is positive I'm going to say moving right equal to true also I'm going to access the sprite render dot flip x component I'm going to set it as false so here uh, you will not actually see this problem because I have a box but if you have a sprite a character sprite you will actually need to flip the sprite to the left every time you go left so the dot flip x here will be equal to true now going to the fixed update I'm going to check for if moving right sorry if moving right we are going to access the RB components with the rigid body component transform dot position and we're going to plus equals vector 3 dot right time is move speed and actually time is a very time is time dot fixed delta time so i want to say it's a very handy method called time to fix till time it's going to make it more smooth to move this character and here I'm going to say moving right is equal to false. Going here, I'm going to check for the left. And I'm going to say player rb dot transform dot position plus equals vector three dot left time is move speed time is time dot fixed delta time. And I'm going to set moving left equal to false. I forgot semicolon up there. And this is fine. I have checked for input in the void update method because this is the best way to do it. You check for input and in the update and you actually modify the physics through the fixed update. So heading back to Unity and running the game. Now we need to actually here put the move speed at something I would say 30 and going to the sprite renderer you can see there is a flip component you can see it's unchecked now I'm going to press the right arrow key because this is the positive key on the horizontal axis and you can see that the flip x is still unchecked and I am moving right now moving left you can see it's checked now and I am moving left so this is the movement you can see it and we can jump and I'm going to 
actually freeze the rotation because you don't want to that you don't want the sprite to rotate while we are moving so under constraints under constraints under rigid body 2d you will freeze the rotation on the z axis and i'm going to actually make this a little bit higher and now we can move faster and here and this brings us to the end of our video today hope you found it informative if you did then please hit that like and subscribe button to encourage me on to making other videos like this one so if you want an if you want any question in particular you can ask me in the comment section down below stay tuned and peace out